Hello everyone, my name is Martijn. In the last tutorial I showed you how to set up your JDK and in this tutorial we're gonna continue setting up our development environment and we're gonna set up IntelliJ IDEA. Now IntelliJ IDEA is an IDE and what is an IDE? Well, if you want to write code, you do that in a um, code type that is readable for us but for the computer that is not readable they need to be translated so in order to translate that it takes quite a few steps to do and if you want to do that with Minecraft uh, you'd be uh, developing for a very long time so there is something called an IDE which does that all automatically and very very quick so that it doesn't take hours to even test one little change so this, this could basically be the smart text editor. Now, in order to install that, we need to go to the website, which is right here. And what we do is we scroll down a little and click on Download IntelliJ IDEA. And you'll want to download a Community Edition. Now, that will give you an installer, and it's very straightforward. Just click Next, 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 and Finish. So once you have done that and once you start IntelliJ IDEA up, you'll see this window and that's the window that you need to see. If you see that, then you have successfully installed it and you can uh, go to the next step. For now, we're going to leave it as this is, but we will come back to this later. So the next thing we need is a forge. Um, I've already told what Minecraft Forge is, so I'm not going to do that again. If you want to know, go to the JDK tutorial. Uh, so we click on this link. Uh, forge, 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 link. Oh. So we go to Forge. And what you want to do is go to the 1.7.10 recommended. So that's this one. And you want to go all the way to the right until you see SRC. Now if you click that, you'll get an ad. So click on the asterisk next to it. The SRC is for Java, def uh, for Minecraft mod developers. So that's what we're going to download. Now I've made a special folder for this uh, series called Orange Tutorials. Um, that is set up already because this process can take up to half an hour. Um, so I'm not going to show everything of it and I'm just going to continue with that one. But what you want to do is create a new folder like that and drag and drop the content of the zip file right into that. So open up example, drag and drop and like that. So now you'll have all the files that Forge gives you in your folder. You want to go one folder back and shift right click on the folder. So shift right click and click on co open command prompt here. Uh, my PC is in Dutch, so this is uh, the Dutch version of it. But you should click on open command prompt here. Now once you have done that, you'll get this command prompt of course. And uh, you want to type Cradle W, uh, Setup, Decomp, Workspace, Dash Dash, Refresh, Dash, Dependencies. Like that. That will set up Forge as we need to have it. So this command is on our website and in the description. So if you do not know it anymore, just go down. So once you hit enter, this can take up to 30 minutes if you do this for the first time. So just grab a drink or something. Um, if you do this for the second time, this might take up to two minutes. So I'm not going to wait for that. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to continue with the one I've already set up. Um, and you can just let this process go. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing you basically need to do anymore. Um, once this is done, you want to open uh, the command prompt again, and I'm going to do that with the one I have already done. So what you want to do then is type Gradle W IDEA, which is specially made for IntelliJ IDEA. So hit enter, and now it will start doing that command. Now notice that this one doesn't take that long as the previous one. This one will take up to perhaps 20 seconds or so. Let's wait for that a few seconds. And as you can see, the setup decomp workspace skipped a few things for me because I've already done it. 
Um, but if you have to do that, that will take quite a long time. So the uh, Gradle idea is finished. Now what you want to do is open up your IntelliJ idea and click up Import Projects. Now once you click on that, you'll get a, a uh, explorer. And what you want to do is select the build.gradle file that is in your directory. So Orange Tutorial, there's a file called uh, build.gradle right there. And you want to select that and click OK. So once you click on that and hit OK, you uh, IntelliJ will start doing all the work that it has to do to set up a working environment for you. So that includes moving all the files to the right location, linking the dependencies and all stuff like that. So this will take like 20 seconds or so, not longer. And uh, once you do this, you should see this window. If you do not see this window, you somehow manage to screw it up. So once you click on this folder, it will drop down and you'll see uh, a few more files. If you open up SRC main Java, come example mod, example mod, example mod, then this is the source code for an example mod that Forge made. So if you see this, then you know that you can now start making some code. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. Okay, the next thing you need to do is open up your command prompt again and type gradlewgir. This will make sure that you get the run configurations that you need. So that takes like four seconds and you need to refresh your workspace. Now once that's done, you can go to run, edit run configurations, and click on application minecraft client ok once you have done that there is now a run minecraft client button which when you click on that will start running minecraft through your ide so once you click that minecraft will build itself and we can now see that the instance of minecraft is running and this example mod that forge made will now be in the game so if we click on mods and uh, look right here we can see the example mod so then we know that we can start making our own mods and that's exactly what we're going to do in the next tutorial so once again if you couldn't follow along that quickly make sure to look up on our website because then you can follow along because that's very real details now next uh, time we will be talking about uh, the main mod file which is uh, basically what you need to have to run a micro mod and after that we're going to make the fancy stuff like blocks and items and so on. So I hope you liked it and hopefully I'll see you next time.